They're the men you don't want to meet in the ring or on the street. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fighters of all time. For this list, we've chosen the best professional combat fighters from all walks of life and have ranked them based on accomplishments, skill, and the likelihood that they could kick anyone's ass. Number 10, Roy Jones Jr. Introducing Roy Jones Jr. Named the Boxing Writers Association of America's Fighter of the Decade for the 90s, Jones was the first boxer to go from light middleweight to a heavyweight title. To start his career, he went 34 bouts without losing, and even then, his first defeat was controversial. With an original style and granite chin, Jones set a record by holding seven belts simultaneously. Though his dominance declined, Jones' legacy was secure. Joining boxing's elite, the new WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Number nine, Fedor Emelianenko. Fighting out of Starry Russia, Fedor. How do you earn the nickname The Last Emperor? Try going undefeated for almost a decade. Longevity was his greatest asset, as was intensity, stoicism, and unpredictability. This Russian heavyweight was a tough guy to knock out, or even to dominate. Some say he benefited from easier opponents by fighting for Pride FC, M1 Global, and Affliction rather than UFC. But in his prime, Emelianenko was unquestionably king retiring with 35 wins in 40 contests. And it's over! And Amelian Enko with the cover round. Number eight, Manny Pacquiao. He is the biggest name in the game today. Labeled fighter of the decade for the 2000s, Pac-Man became the first octuple boxing champion with 10 world titles across eight weight divisions. After starting his career in 1995, this Filipino fighter rocketed through weight classes like no one before or since, mastering fancy footwork with a stringent work ethic and eventually becoming one of the world's most electrifying and highest paid athletes. It's the first time he's knocked out somebody like this since he was at 130 pounds. Number seven, Georges St. Pierre. This welterweight has the brains, brute strength, and discipline to succeed in the octagon. Plus, he's a great MMA ambassador. GSP's got a solid martial arts background, with karate, boxing, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, and Muay Thai capping off his skills, and making him a well-rounded fighter. Also known as one of the biggest UFC pay-per-view draws, the man known as Rush is still riding a career high. I feel like a samurai, you know, I train every day. I work on what I love to do until I try to reach a perfection, even though I will never be able to reach it, but every day I try to get better at what I do. If I could do that for the rest of my life, I'll be happy. Number six, Mike Tyson. Once the undisputed world heavyweight champion, Iron Mike claimed victory his first 19 professional fights, all by KO. As the youngest boxer to hold titles like the WBC, WBA, and IBF heavyweight belts, the baddest man on the planet was dominant and dreaded in the 80s and 90s, and could have possibly taken any guy on this list in his prime. How'd he win so much? He fought dirty. Oh, and some nasty stuff in there. There need to be a bite almost. Holyfield is very unhappy. Look at this. Number five, Muhammad Ali. He was the greatest and as much a personality as he was a fighter. And if that don't do, we'll get him in two. <laughs> if he run, we'll get him in one. <laughs> Ali persistently trash-talked rivals and stood up for his beliefs. In the ring, this heavyweight used his height, footwork, speedy fists, and rope-a-dope technique to triumph. An Olympic gold medalist and three-time world champ, he ended his career with 56 wins in 61 fights. And even when people called him over the hill, Ali surprised them all. This time he works over the shoulder. 
Number four, Joe Lewis. Known as one of the greatest heavyweights to ever step between the ropes, the Brown Bomber brought the sport of boxing back from a low point with his track record of industriousness, authenticity, and powerful punching. He defended his championship title 25 times over 140 consecutive months to retire with 66 wins in 70 fights, 52 coming by KO. An American icon, he also represented U.S. athletic dominance and the fight for integration. The winner and still champion, Joe Lewis! Number three, Bruce Lee. <laughs> Lee had the goods to back up his pop culture status. Powerful, flexible, lightning fast, and with unheard of stamina, he revolutionized fighting as an art form and brought martial arts to new levels of popularity. As the founder of Jeet Kune Do, or the way of the intercepting fist, Lee's was an amalgam of techniques. But he was a street fighter first and foremost, and a warrior in the purest sense of the word. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Like that. You see? <laughs> Number two, Anderson Silva. The spider holds the UFC record for longest title defense streak. And even UFC Prez Dana White called this Brazilian the best mixed martial artist ever. Known mainly for his Muay Thai skills, he's also got black belts in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Judo among his many ranks. Labeled one of the best pound for pound fighters in history, he wins fights by knockouts, submissions, intimidation, and any other way he can, which sometimes gets him in trouble. Oh no, what's happening here? Anderson Silva saying he tapped. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Probert, I mean, who's been in probably literally hundreds of these, John. Some have called Leonard the Manitou and Duran the Bull, but I've told you, Duran's skills are very underrated as a boxer. MMA debut against Minshew Kim and Lester secures the only takedown. This is actually where Minshew Kim wants to be. Number one, Sugar Ray Robinson. Cited by many as history's greatest boxer, Robinson is the man for whom the pound-for-pound -pound rankings were created. Sugar Ray met the fiercest competition going and simply accomplished more than anyone else on this list. With 173 wins in 200 fights, 108 by knockout. His looks, charm, and showmanship blended with speed, footwork, a rock-hard shin, and ambidextrous KO skills to ensure that Sugar Ray was the total package. The winner and the new middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson! Do you agree with our list? Let me think. Who do you think is the greatest fighter of all time? Don't think. Feel. For more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. And it's over. There they are. They put their arms around each other. Sugar Ray Robinson being escorted to his corner by Randolph Turpin.